Welcome back guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. So this video is going to be pretty damn insane. According to sources, Supercell has just officially banned the number one player in the world right now inside of COC, guys. Insane. Check this out. If we go into the top players global, you can see the number one is called Abarakan. Number two, also called Abarakan. Number three, also called Abarakan. Now, if you take a look at the top right hand side of the screen, guys, you can see the previous July 2017 season. The number one player and the record holder at 6,504 trophies was also a Barakan. So the question is, is this dude legit or has he been cheating the system, guys? Well, let's see if we can find out. So just before we continue with the episode, my question to you, do you think this guy's real or do you think he's cheating, guys? Comment hashtag cheating down below or hashtag legit. Let's see which one gets more comments and what your personal opinions are, guys. So check this out. If I go and click on the number one player and click view clan you can see it's inside of the bio it's a kind request to supercell to please unban a barakan account it's an unfair ban to him we believe in fair gameplay hope you will not take any wrong decisions so basically guys the current number one player in the world is the co-leader of this clan and he's pretty much changed the bio to uh, ask supercell to unban maybe one of his accounts. So I'm not sure how many accounts this guy has, guys. Maybe they've all been banned. I'm not really too sure. But if we go back and you check out number two and three, they're actually inside of a different clan. And the clan is called Abo Racken. Now, I'm not sure if Abo Racken is someone's name or whether it means something in a different language. If you do know, please let me know down below in that comment section, guys. But if we click the view clan button here once again inside of the bio unban abarakan and then there is a player hashtag so i'm going to take a wild guess and say that supercell has banned just one of his town hall level 11 accounts guys we call on supercell to listen to us and solve the problem of unjust ban of abarakan so check this out he's got number one and two both abarakan if we keep scrolling number eight also abarakan number 12 also a Barakan. Number 15, a Barakan. And if we keep scrolling, it doesn't stop, guys. Number 22 and number 23, also a Barakan. Every single one of these accounts, even number 29, a Barakan. Number 32, a Barakan, guys. Every single one of these accounts has well over 6,000 trophies. The question is, is this one dude literally the best player in the world? Or is he cheating the system? As I said, hashtag cheating down below or hashtag legit. Which one do you think it is? So I'm actually going to keep you up to date with this story, guys. But there's actually been something interesting which happened a couple of minutes before I started recording this video. So if we go into the top players, you can see he's currently holding number one, two, three. Well, about five minutes ago, the guy in number four from King's Rock was actually third. And now he's fourth. So there does seem to be, you know, activity on the Abo Racken accounts, but people may question, is he giving himself free wins or is he a legit player? As I said, stay tuned. We're gonna see if we can find out more on this, guys, and keep you up to date with the number one player in the world right now who also was the top player last season. So all that being said, guys, it's time for me to continue my trophy push into the Legends League. Now, I've actually had some really cool three-star attacks against some Town Hall 11s, guys, but um, we're not gonna show you any replays. I'm going to get myself into a couple of live attacks. I've actually decided to change up the strategy slightly, try and use something slightly different, guys. So we're going to see if we can get about 4,800 trophies right now in this episode. Shouldn't be too hard. Leave a like if you made it this far into the video, guys, to celebrate 2 million subs. If you're new to the channel, my name is, of course, General Tony. Make sure you subscribe, guys. But let's do this. Let's get ourselves into the first live attack of the episode. And by the way... If anyone knows any news on Abo Racken, whether it's, uh, you know, one player or multiple, please let me know. You can email me or leave me a comment down below in that comment section. I'm going to try to reply to as many people as possible. So check this out, guys. We've landed on a Town Hall 11. Now, it's currently offering me nine trophies. And for anyone that's around the Titans 1 League, it's not too bad. It's not the best offer, but it, it's not that, it's not, you know, it's not that bad, guys. So... We're going to see if we can two-star, maybe even three-star this dude's base. I'm going to go for a three-star, guys. Let's see what happens. So he's got a low-level Archer Queen, only level 33. A couple of Archer Towers upgrading. CC is also under upgrade. I'm going to hope that there's nothing inside of there. And he's got an Air Defense upgrading as well. That's going to give me a slight advantage, guys. So here we go. Queen Walk is going to start. And I'm going to hope 
that she swings to the left and doesn't go for the gold storage, guys. But if she does, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's just see what happens. Here we go. Obviously, she's going to swing to the left now. Sorry, to the right. And uh, she's going to be taking on this gold storage, guys. So, we're going to be preparing our attack from this side of the base over here. Just before we do, let's make sure that this queen walk actually survives and doesn't get completely wiped out, guys. So, we're going to drop in that grand warden as well just to back up my archer queen. She's going to take out that defending queen and move on to the rest of these, uh, these buildings, guys. So, we're going to start off here. By dropping in some of these wall breakers. There goes a golem. Two baby dragons going to go down. Go oh, I just used the Grand Warden's ability by accident. I did not mean to do that, guys. That kind of sucks for me. But here we go. Defending Clan Castle has come out. We're going to drop a Rage Spell on my Archer Queen. And we're going to see if we can get the rest of these bowlers moving into the core, guys. So we're going to hold back on that final Rage Spell. Queen and the Grand Warden have survived. And it looks like we are starting to make our way into the center of the base, guys. So here we go. There goes the Barbarian King's ability. And we're already up to 42% and climbing, guys. So here we go. Town Hall is about to get annihilated by my Bowler Army. And it looks like it's down. So unfortunately, I used the Grand Warden's ability by accident. And because of that, it does not look like we're going to be getting anywhere close to a 3-star, guys. So we're going to pop the Queen's ability. We're going to take out a final few buildings. And we're going to be walking away with uh, six measly trophies, guys. So let's just end the raid there. We don't need loot, so I don't need to get a high loot bonus. I'm completely 100% maxed out. And I've also got 10 million gold, 10 million elixir, and just about 200,000 dark elixir, guys. So I legit can't spend anything on this base. It is 100% maxed out. We're at 4,795 trophies, and Abo Rakan is still number one, two, three. Shout out to Abo Rakan, guys. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to get ourselves into a second live attack. This time, fingers crossed, we can actually find more trophies, guys. Maybe, I don't know, 15 to 20 trophies. That would be awesome. Since I've started trophy pushing about a week ago, I haven't seen a single high trophy offer, guys. I haven't seen a single one. I'm hoping maybe... When we do a live attack to find something in the region of 40 to 50 trophies, that would be insane. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can do it. So we've landed on another Town Hall level 11. Unfortunately, only another 9 trophies, guys. A Titan 3 player. Shout out to this dude. And uh, we're going to take it on, guys, because to be honest with you, it takes about 5 minutes just to find a base. And I don't really want to waste too much time searching for bases, guys. Okay, so... I reckon our Queen Walk can actually do some real destruction here. Check this out. Two air defenses, the Queen and the Eagle Artillery, all on the edge of the base, guys. That could be really great for me. Let's kind of see what happens. So we're going to drop in this baby dragon here because I'm actually going to prepare a, uh, a funnel for when my Queen Walk walks all the way down the end. So here we go. Queen's going to go down. Four healers just behind. I want this Queen to take out all these buildings. And then we're going to strike using the rest of the army from there. But I do need to take out these two gold collectors, guys. So here we go. First one's going to go down. Can we grab the second as well? It's going to be close. Going to use a bowler, guys. Need to take out that gold collector. And it's down. Okay, so we need the queen to actually swing to the left, guys. And we're going to use the Grand Warden as backup. We need some aura next to the queen. Looks like she could be taking on the defending Barbarian King as well, guys. Here we go. Look at that, the Barbarian King actually swiped me from the other side of the wall. That's a little bit unfair, guys. But here we go, the Queen making her way down. Trying to take out as many of these buildings as possible. And we also want to uh, extinguish the defending Archer Queen. So we're going to drop in a jump spell. And I want my Queen to actually walk into the base, guys. Now, whilst that's going on, we're going to drop in the other heroes. And, of course, the bowlers, guys. So let's do this. And let's see if we can penetrate this dude's base. So the second jump spell's down as well. Queen! Oh no, my queen's been hit by the shrink spell, guys. Here we go. Balloons coming out from the defending CC as well. This is not great, I'm not gonna lie. Looks like we're in a lot of trouble here, guys. My queen is tiny. She's tiny, she's still tiny. And uh, my, my bowlers have been destroyed by those defending balloons, guys. This really hasn't looked too great, but we've still got the queen, still got the Grand Warden, and I'm hoping She's going to snap me the town hall. So let's find out, guys. Here we go. Going to drop down this rage spell. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. Used it so late there. We've got a one star, so that's what counts, guys. But I'm not going to lie. I do want a two star at least. Come on, queen. Yep, it's not going to happen, guys. We're going to punch the uh, the queen's ability. 
and she's pretty much gonna grab me a couple more buildings sad times hashtag sad times for tony guys three trophies three measly trophies you know what there's no way we're ending this episode on three cups we're doing one final live attack guys we need to get over 4800 check it out we only need like another two trophies and we're gonna do it so let's just gem up this army and straight up get ourselves into a third live attack guys sad times you know what I actually three-starred a Town Hall 11 minutes before recording. Look, I'll even prove it to you guys. Literally three-starred a really cool Town Hall 11. This one right here, just minutes before recording. And uh, unfortunately, I can't even two-star a Town Hall 11 right now inside of this live attack. But let's do this. Let's continue this rampage. Fingers crossed. Now we're talking, guys. Now we are talking some more trophies for me. 11 trophies this time. I know it's not a huge difference, but every trophy counts as you push higher and higher inside of these links. Oh no! I just clicked the next button by accident. Wow. Oh wow. It happened to be the lucky day for me, guys. 33 trophies. This is officially the biggest trophy offer, I believe, if I remember, since we started to get into the Titans 1 League, guys. So that's actually lucky I skipped the previous one. So I'm not gonna lie. I don't like these base designs, guys. They scare me. But... There is a great chance of picking up a two-star. Let's just decide which side should I attack from. I'm going to attack from this side here, guys, because I want to try and draw out the defending CC nice and early. Hopefully to take it out, guys. So we're going to drop in two baby dragons, not one, but two, to take out these buildings and make a final. The Archer Queen's going to go down, and I'm hoping to take that air defense out right there nice and early, guys. Then we're going to drop in the final baby dragon just about there. Hopefully going to clear those buildings, guys. We're going to use a Rage Spell on that Archer Queen just to make sure she gets in there and does some damage. There go the Wall Breakers, guys. Let's take out this Air Defense and uh, hopefully take down as much of this base as possible. So here we go. We have got so far a nice funnel, guys. So there goes Jump Spell 1, Jump Spell 2. Golem's going to go in. Going to send in the Bowl is now just behind, guys. Oh, no. Some of them have gone to the left, some of them have gone to the right. The final's not that great, I'm not going to lie, but they... Oh, I dropped in um, a poison and not a jump. That's that's quite funny. That was an accident, guys. But there goes a rage spell. Okay, so let's get these troops into the base now. Here we go. Bowler's going to be jumping over these walls. Can we get the troops into the core? That is the question. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. We need our troops, or at least the Queen, to swing into the center, guys, and take out the majority of these defenses. There goes another rage spell. The Queen's on her own here, guys. Can she take out the core of the base by herself? Please go in. Yes, she's in, guys. Can she take out the Eagle Artillery? Here we go. She's under a Rage Spell. It looks like we're going to be collecting that second star. And uh, we're going to be picking up quite a lot of trophies from this raid, guys. So second star's been achieved. Let's take some extra percent. You never know. Let's see how far we can go, guys. Can we get 70, 80 percent damage on this base? Let's find out. I'm trying to improve my skill level just before we hit the Legends League, guys. So here we go. Expo against Archer Queen. Archer Queen's just about gonna win. She has the backup of, of course, those healers. There goes the Queen's ability, guys. She's gonna take out that second Inferno Tower, and she's still rampaging, grabbing me that Dark Elixir. I don't even need it, but I'm gonna take it anyway because I'm a savage. And we've got 69%, guys. 70. Let's end it there. Collecting 22 trophies, and that has rocketed me well above 4,800, guys. Just 180 trophies away from the Legends League. We could even hit it later on today. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. I will see you shortly. Don't forget to let me know down below. Do you think he's cheating? Or do you think that dude is legit one of the best players in the world? I don't know. Stay tuned to find out what the news is, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.